the rest of your Saturday just continue to bundle up. We're only going to be pushing towards 18 degrees, seeing more and more of that sunshine, but of course feeling much colder once you factor in those winds and that trend continues all weekend long tonight mostly clear. Our temperatures are really going to dip back with those mostly clear skies. We're only talking one degree and just downright feeling frigid. Even later on this morning, still feeling like the single digits later this evening, still the single digits. So that's why I'm saying you really have to bundle up no matter when you head out. And I know it's going to be sunny, so you're going to want to head out. You just need to prepare for temperatures like this. Tomorrow morning, still feeling like we are below zero. And then by tomorrow afternoon, we start to rebound a bit pushing our feel like temperatures in the teens and 20s as our actual temperatures improve just a bit. It's no crazy warmth to write home about, but we'll take what we can get to end the weekend. So here as we look on future track, there's that sunshine for today. We'll hold on to it again tomorrow, but we do gain cloud cover tomorrow just late in the day, I think at and after sunset. So all of our daytime hours should be sunny, but that cloud cover will move in Sunday night and then we'll start to see some lake effect snow showers develop up leading into Monday. Now there's not a lot of strong ingredients for lake effect snow, so we're just going to get really light lake effect, more of a flurry consistency for these showers on Monday mostly cloudy conditions elsewhere for you folks inland. Now come Tuesday, we've been talking about this clipper system. This is 10 p.m. on Tuesday. I really think much of this entire system will miss us. We're going to be mainly dry, quiet and cloudy on Tuesday. It's not until late overnight that maybe some of you north of I-96 can see some of this snow. As we get into Wednesday, though, really brief period of some light rain and wintry mix before we transition to have more of a lake effect snow style set up for Wednesday and Thursday with this northwest wind flow and we could pick up a good couple of inches out of this lake effect snow between Wednesday and Thursday before we dry out then on Friday. So snow is back in our forecast. Here's the next couple of days. So 26 degrees on Sunday. There's that slight rebound. Nothing crazy, but at least a little bit of improvement. 29 on Monday then and our temperatures next week will be in the 20s and 30s, but only for so long as we navigate through those snow chances because Arctic air it arrives again. Wednesday, these temperatures plummet. We're only talking the teens, then Thursday and Friday, and we're even going to stay cold past Friday. The Climate Prediction Center continues to put us in below average temperatures through the end of January. So the rest of this month really looks to stay bitter cold.